Hey guys, welcome back to another Discord DJS tutorial. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a music command integrating with my command handler system. So if you don't know what a command handler is, you should see a card pop up on the right hand of your screen or the top right of your screen, whatever you want to call it. So I'll click on that to get your command handler. So I understand that I've made a few videos on music bots. So this would be the last video if there isn't any more issues with this. The reason I'm making this tutorial is because uh, a lot of members in my Discord server really want a way to implement the music system into their Discord bots. So yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so once you're in your project, uh, we're really going to head into index.js. So let me just zoom in real quick. Okay, this might be really big. Alright, so you're just going to go to terminal and we're going to install some packages. So just do npm install this too. And also we're going to install FFM pack. So make sure um, to install both of these. Just run this command and click enter. So I'm not going to reinstall it because I already installed it. So once you have done installing bo both of these, uh, you can just head on into your uh, client definition. So in my case, it's, my main file is the index index.js. So in here, we're going to require this too. So we can do this by doing const this too. Just require this too. All right, and then we're just going to const player equals new this two. All right, and then we're going to just do client. We're just going to pass in client here, and there's tons of options. So let me just uh, show you some of the options. So there's emit new song only, a uh, high watermark, and what that is. Um, search songs leave on stop. So if uh you run the stop command if you want it to leave. So you can just uh, enable this something like this. So true, if you want it to be true. All right. So I'm not going to use any options because um this is just going to be a base initial initializing project video. So yeah, and then we can just emit a new event. So play it on. Uh, you can use an event listener. So we're going to do song play song. So if a song is played, we can do a message queue song okay so there is what they give us so message to channel the send we're just going to send that a uh, song dot name has started playing all right so this is the basic event uh we will move on into more events on the later videos so this is the event that we're going to use in today's video and then uh we're going to make a we're going to export our variable our player variable with uh, global so we're gonna use client so we're just going to client dot player equals to player see so we can just it, rather than doing uh requiring requiring this from index.js we can just do client player so we can just do client player to player client of player to stop whatever it is all right so uh we're gonna move on to the player js command file if you don't know what it uh where i located this i just created a folder called music and i just made a play.js in here so the first thing I want to do is you want to check if the member has uh is in a voice channel. So if message the member the voice the channel return message the reply, please join a voice channel. All right. So next we're gonna define query. So const query equals args join. If there is no query, return message the reply um please uh enter a song name okay so what's that then uh we're just gonna do await client dot player dot play okay and then uh we can just pass in message and then query and yeah that should be it all right so this is for the play command next we're gonna move on to the stop command so uh same thing i created a file in the music directory so uh in here we're gonna check the same thing so we're just gonna copy this all right and then we're just gonna do client dot player dot stop so if if you want to check the parameters for this um don't follow this because it is different so just go to index.js uh once after the event, you can just do an, a period in here and then you can just type in your function stop and then you should see the uh, parameters in here. So as you can see, it's message. 
it's pretty i'm pretty sure it's the discard message so let's just remove that and then we can just pass a message in here all right so let's just save the files and yeah let's just test this out all right so we can just test this out by playing some music i already joined a voice channel so let me just make sure that uh it's picking up audio uh y play um and yes okay searching for the song all right so once it started playing it will show the title of the song it has started playing as you can see here this is actually uh written in your index.js the player on play song event I start playing you can make it bold you can make it embed whatever you want and then um let me see if it's picking up yeah it's picking up so i have it a little lower so this is the max volume um the reason i made it to a lower volume because it's kind of loud so in the later videos i will teach you guys how to make a volume command skip command q command uh customizing uh the commands basically so yeah and then let's just try to use the stop command why stop okay so see here the player has stopped all right so yeah that should conclude today's video on the initializing the music project the video so if you want to see more videos uh regarding to the music system uh make sure to leave a comment leave a like um if you face any errors with this uh feel free to join the supporter links will be in the description uh make sure to subscribe it really helps the channel out um i also make tons and tons of discord js videos just stay to the end and then you should see a playlist pop up right and then you can just click on that and you should see um a lot of videos all right so other than that have a nice day see you again the next video bye